In this video, I'm gonna make this neglected Jaguar brand new again. I'm gonna deep clean the exterior, I'm gonna wash it, I'm gonna decontaminate it, and I'm gonna polish it. And we're gonna go from this to this. So today we are working on this Jaguar XKRS. This is a 5 liter V8 supercharged and this thing is pretty awesome. Now as you can see the wheels really aren't that dirty they have recently been powder coated so they are looking pretty good but the paint the paint is a whole different story <laughs> even in this clip here you can really see how bad the condition of the paint is Later in this video, we're going to be polishing the paint and I'm also going to be giving you guys information about the products that I use as well as the pads and the machines. So pretty much everything you need to get this paint perfect. Definitely keep watching to see the amazing transformation.
Okay, so the car is clean now. Uh, it's actually the next day here, by the way. Uh, got the car up on the lift, and I've been inspecting the uh, the paint, and man, it's not looking good. It's really not looking good. This thing is gonna need a heavy, heavy correction. This paint is really bad. It's uh, got some oxidation on the roof there. It's got a bunch of scratches, and it just, it's in horrible condition, to be honest. So what I want to do, I want to do a couple of 50-50s. I want to do uh, a 50-50 on the hood here. And then we're going to do one on the roof, I think. But before uh, I go ahead and do that, I actually want to clean up uh, underneath the hood here because there's a bunch of leaves and stuff in there. So I'm going to get that cleaned up and then we'll get to polishing. Just look at how bad that is. That's bad. <laughs> All right, so that's looking a lot better. And I know this car could do it with an engine bay detail because uh, somebody's probably going to comment it, but that is not what the car is here for today. I just wanted to get this cleaned up for, you know, when I'm polishing this section here, I don't want these leaves to just like fly up in the air or whatever. So just wanted to get that cleaned up and uh, let's get this thing closed for now. And let's start polishing this hood. All right, so that's looking a whole lot better already. That was one pass with, this is a rotary uh, with a wool pad. I don't really like using a rotary that much. Uh, I prefer to use a DA, but for, for something like this, it's pretty much necessary. This is a Coach Cami wool pad, and then I have Coach Cami Heavy Cut H902. And then now I'm gonna follow up with, this is a CarPro microfiber pad. The new Rupas Hybrid HLR15 CarPro microfiber pad, and then I'll also be using Coach Gemi Heavy Cut H902 uh, for the next pass. Oh man, <laughs> that's looking good already. This is gonna be an insane transformation, I'm telling you. All right, so now I'm gonna do the uh, last step, the finishing step, Coach Cami Micro Cut, and I'm gonna be using the Rupas HLR15 with a Coach Cami uh, Micro Cut pad.
All right, so that is the polishing done. It's actually a couple days later right now. In total, this paint correction took three days to complete, and I still have a couple of final touches to do. Uh, well, first of all, the car looks amazing, by the way. Uh, it turned out really good. But I still have a couple of final touches to do. I have to polish the uh, exhaust, then I'm gonna dress the tires. Um, I'm gonna do this now. Normally I would do this last, but since I got the car up in the air, I'm just gonna dress the tires now so that I can also get the uh, bottom part here because you know when the car is sitting on the ground, you always miss the, uh, the bottom part. And then finally, I'm gonna put a coat of wax on, on the paint. No ceramic this time. Um, but, you know, I at least want to protect the, uh, the corrective paintwork, so I'm going to put a coat of wax on, and then we'll be done. I'll show you the final result.